Hi, welcome back. In the last chapter, you've learned to run data-driven tests with internal data in Catalog Studio. However, in many cases, you need to use different data files from other teams to run your tests, such as developers, clients, marketing, sales teams, and so on. So, having the option to import and use external data sources would be convenient and save up lots of time for data setup. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do so, using external data files to run data-driven tests with Catalog Studio. The steps are quite the same as in the previous lesson. First, create a new test suite, data-driven testing with Microsoft Excel files. Then, add a test case. I'll use the same one which has already used variables. Next, we need to prepare our test data. Open your Excel file on your computer. Fill in the data, just like when we were creating the internal data in Catalog Studio. You should give the data columns the same names as the variables in your test cases so that you can map them easily. All right. Let me fill in the data real quick. Atlanta. Second, New York. Lastly, Tokyo. Let's save this file. Now go back to Catalog Studio. Create data in the data files folder. Let's give it a name. Here I name mine Excel file underscore 100 cities. A tip here, you should get a consistent format for naming your data files to find and manage them more easily. Keep the type as Excel because that's what we want. Click OK. Continue to click Browse and select the Excel file. You can also choose the sheet you want to use. Save it and move on to data binding. Select the test case, click Add in the Test Data section, and choose your Excel data file. Then click Map All. The two variables have been bound to the two data columns that have the same names. Save it and run this test suite. It's going to run the tests according to the test data order in the Excel file. First, it searches for Atlanta. Now, it goes for New York. And lastly, Tokyo. All of our tests passed. Easy, right? The good thing about data-driven testing is you can add more test data without changing anything in the test case or test script since it is stored separately. Let's say I want to test with another city. All I need to do is to go to the Excel data file and add it in. For example, here I type in Miami for the city input and states in Miami for verification. Save this file. In case you run your test cases with CI tools and store your automation projects in a version control system like GitLab, you need to commit a data file change you make. Otherwise, it will use the old file to run the tests. Let's run the test suite again to see whether it will automatically update the new test data. What we're expecting is after running the test with Atlanta, New York, and Tokyo, it will continue with Miami, which we just added. Let's wait for a bit. Oh, here it is. It runs for the fourth time and searches for Miami. All done. The report shows there are four test cases 
which are actually four iterations. The same goes for the lot viewer below. Atlanta, New York, Tokyo, and Miami. That's how you apply data-driven testing with Catalan Studio using an Excel file. Another type of file you likely encounter for storing and retrieving data is CSV. It is a simple text file containing records separated by a delimiter, often a comma. Due to the simplicity and widespread use across different platforms and systems, CSV files are a preferred format for data-driven testing. With Catalan Studio, the steps are similar to how we use an Excel file. First, create or get a CSV file. Then, create a data file in Catalan Studio and import it in. Remember to choose the CSV type and select the separator the same as the file. Next, bind variables to the test data. And finally, run the suite. That's how you apply data-driven testing with an Excel or CSV file. In the next lesson, we're going to show you how to run data-driven tests with an external database and how to bind variables to different data sources. See you next time.